<laughs> she did it with a shovel. <laughs> Good night. Okay, well, somebody spotted me. Like, no, I was in Vegas and I got spotted. I was like carrying a ton of alcohol. It was for my friends. <laughs> I looked so bad. They were like, hey, are you Dave Vaughn? And I'm like, oh, yes. Shh. Who's that? Oh, yeah, oh. Right. Harley, they're yeah, just like name brand. Like, I love Harley. Harley. Like, Japanese. I, like I love like, Harley. Oh, no, yeah. It's for the old men. Like my grandpa. Or the side of the road. My yeah. grandpa. <laughs> my grandpa. Now I'm talking about getting coaching. You want to save another two or three grand on top of that. Okay? And once you get six grand, that's when you probably should start doing the Okay? You don't got six grand. Um, get wait. sponsors. Get yeah, sponsors. So. We've been having fun, but I want to give a special greeting to everyone watching. Hello, all of the members of the court. I am the Sovereign. I know this is probably not your first time on the channel, but subscribe if it is your first time. We actually have several courtiers here. Who actually has watched the channel before? Me. Oh, okay. And I'm on the web, the, the what's it, Discord. Yeah. Oh, you're on the, the Discord? King of, the king of Discord. Yes, you will. Okay. Do you want to reveal who you are on the Discord or no? No. Okay. You don't, yes, you don't have to. But we do have um, special colors and tags for reigning foreign royalty. Oh. So if a queen is actually in the kingdom, if you want your name to light up as a, you know, little color so everybody knows you're a queen, we can do that. But we love to have people visit. Oh, me and Co attention. Oh, yeah, the Discord dishes the tea. They'll talk pageantry oh, yeah. with you. I need to get more. I'm not very versed on your YouTube channel yet, but I'm. We have lots of. I'm videos. getting there. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to be introduced to your channel. We, 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 we talk week. a lot yeah. about pageantry, but we also like to talk about, you know, news and politics, important events. And of course, yeah. I love girl talk. Yeah. 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 Who doesn't like girl talk? Right? That's what I'm like. Yeah. Who doesn't? Come on, girl talk. It's so much fun. So I've been talking about guys on there. Love it. We'll I'm, I'm excited. We'll talk. Boys. I'm excited. Tonight, all night, yes. I'm gonna be like. Yes. Read the comments too, especially like the passport bro videos. Oh my god. <laughs> get so mad at me. I want you guys to introduce yourselves so everybody knows who you are and where you're representing. Okay. So we can start with you. I am Heather Thompson, and I am representing New York State for Miss Supernational United States. Hi, I am Riley Spinks, and I represent Nebraska for Miss Supernational. Thanks. Hi, my name is Tina Glaze, like a donut, and I'm representing <laughs> Miss <laughs> Iowa for Miss Supernational, Supernational United States. Like a donut. Hi, Yao. Hello, como esta Paul Gun Tag? I am Darcy Wynn, Miss Supernational, Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about her greeting. She's got the best greeting and woke me right up. You're like a shot straight to my eyeball. Yeah. Was, I'm awake now. Thank you. I, I didn't need that. <laughs> I needed it too. As soon as I heard it, I was like, I don't, I don't that girl. I love that girl. It's time. She's letting you know. All right, everybody get ready. We're moving. <laughs> Wake up. So, who here is this your first time in pageantry? Right here. It's first time. I don't even believe you. <laughs> I don't. Have you guys seen her perform? Yeah, yeah. 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 This is yeah. one of my best friends, and I can tell you it's her first time. I just, but but I am coming from it. the runway runway field, so yes. coming into pageantry is more of an environment where I I am surrounded by empowered women and I'm very inspired by the the flavor yeah, that everyone is showcasing. It just watching them grow and like, it's not just straight up, get on the runway, walk, walk, walk. It's more yes. like personality. And, and I'm always stories. like, usually runway queens scare me because as soon oh. as I, they do, they terrify me. Cause I'm like, I know <laughs> don't a, scare you. runway queens can walk. I know they can, but when you're used to selling clothing, you really subdue yourself. You don't use your face. It's all about the clothing. Yeah. But in pageantry, it's the exact opposite. So I'm like, yeah, you can walk great, but you're going to look like, I don't know, a wire hanger just walking up there with no personality. <laughs> yes. Like, so runway queens, they give me like the technique, but usually I don't even face, which is important. So that's why I'm like, whenever I see a runway girl, I'm like, oh, please, please. So it was like refreshing. You came out there and she knew what she was doing and I was like, oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. But to say that it's your first time is like, Why? you have no what? reason. You have no reason to be that good being a first timer. <laughs> For real though. There should have been at least two trips and a stumble. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like my first time. Oh, <laughs> it's good to have first timers though. So what brought you guys to the pageant industry? Where did you start your journey? I started my journey as Miss, competing for Miss New York USA in 2017. That's rough. Yeah, it is rough. I've actually competed with them four times and have placed top 21s and it, it's, it's been quite the journey with New York because 
they have like 150, 160 Miss contestants. Wow. So it's crazy, <laughs> wild, but it's taught me a lot and I love pageants and I keep coming back for more. You're brave for tackling New York. Yeah. Like there's certain states <laughs> that I would just, I would move to not have to compete there. I wouldn't do New York. I would not be lying if I said I haven't thought about it. <laughs> but what made you like, oh, I want to go join a pageant? I, so when I was younger, we got those pamphlets in the mail for NAM when I was younger. Oh. And I went to one of the interviews with my mom. My mom did pageants actually, but she was never the one to like throw me into it. She wanted us to always do what we wanted. And she was like excited that I wanted to do it, but then it interfered with my cheerleading. And cheerleading was my life when I was a kid. Mm. So I was not missing any games, practices or competitions. Mm. So then I saw an ad just on Facebook or Instagram or something and I was like, you know what, I wanna try this. So I tried it and did not do well at all. I was like, I had See, no idea what I was doing. That's a real first time yeah. right there. Yeah, like flailing the arms, like shoulders like this, like had no clue what I was doing, but it was fun to learn. I'm very competitive, so I've been competitive with myself mm. throughout this journey, just seeing what I can do, push myself to do. And I've also made my absolute best friends in pageantry, so. Pageant girls. I, I got a few more <laughs> best friends this week, so I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? How did you, like what in your brain was like, oh, pageantry, I'm gonna do it. So I started my first pageant right when COVID started. So in like 2020 was my very first pageant. Okay. And it has been on my bucket list to do a pageant since I was a little kid watching like toddlers and tiaras. I thought that's what a pageant was. Oh, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like a little kid and I'm like, I want to do that. That looks like so much fun. And then I started watching like the Miss USA, like Miss Universe. And I'm like, these girls are rocking it. Like, I want to do that. My dad was like, no, you're not going to do it. This is not you. Like, no, you're not allowed to do it. I turned 18 <laughs> and I was like, first off, I'm 18. I can do what I want. Um, I'm going to do a pageant. And he was like, what? And I'm like, yeah. So I ran for Miss Nevada Teen USA and it was, I was a wreck. Oh no! <laughs> because, no, like I, I, I cried every single day because I don't do well with like girls. I just like don't get along with them. No offense, I love you, <laughs> but like I am a very upbeat, loud human, and I was Same. just like, <laughs> like the girls that would see me, they're like, oh my gosh, she's so loud, like she's so like obnoxious and crazy, and the girls were mean. And I mean yeah. like brutal. The teens, the teens were yeah. brutal. And I am very like modest. So I don't like show like crazy skin or anything like mm -hmm. that. And then I had like the most modest dress, like nothing showed in the front and open back. It's a beautiful dress and I still wish oh, I could fit in it. I will show you, but all these girls had poofy dresses. I call my pageant director crying and I'm like, I don't want to go on this stage. I hate it. Yeah, I want to go dresses, home. Like cupcake dresses? Like, like cupcakes. cupcakes. Like one girl had a tear and then like four tears and I was just like, no. I was like, what? I'm like, is this what a pageant is? And then I went out there, did my thing. One Miss Congeniality, <laughs> one best in evening weird. gown. And I remember when they counted me, I was like, <laughs> I'm like, after I was just complaining about my dress and complained about it all, like I, I won that and then I was 18 so I couldn't do the teen oh, my next yeah. year. So I was a 19 year old competing against a 27 year old yep. for Miss Nevada USA. And it was again, brutal. And I made it to top 15. I was the very last person to get called for top 15. And I could like, I fell to the floor. Like everyone could see it, my knees went. And I dropped and I was like, I made it? I'm like, no, you're lying. And then I did my thing and it was so much fun and it helped so much with my confidence. Yeah. And I'm very, very, very strong believer with my platform. My teen year was suicide awareness. My pageant director told me to change it because it was too depressing. Oh. And so I'm what? like, you know what? Let me just switch it up. Mental health awareness, boom, gotcha. Okay, so, okay, positive spin and you still yeah, did it. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So it has helped me be able to express my platform more and be able to like help with my confidence and actually really just help me interact with girls just because I've never had like a positive experience with like friend being friends with girls, this woman knows. She won my best friend, so she knows every single tea that 
could possibly South. happen in my life. I've, I've struggled. I lived in LA and I moved specifically because I couldn't make friends out here. It was it's so it's difficult. It's so hard. But yeah, like I joined the pageant world because it's always been like a dream of mine yeah. to do it. And just to be a part of it and try something that I've wanted to try for as long as I could remember. And now that I'm doing it, I stopped for the longest time because I was so anti-pageant. I'm like, this is not my thing. I knew it wasn't my thing. <laughs> like, I knew I couldn't do it. I could never win. And then all of a sudden I was told to come to this and I'm like, you know what? My self-confidence is it's a fair. little bit higher now. Like, I, I can do this. It's so. just, it's grown woman I'm dress here. up. You know, and it's yeah. totally, it's playing pretty princess yeah. for grown women. It's totally <laughs> different than the pageant that I have done in the past. And I'm so blessed because I'm, I'm friends with everyone. Else. I'm very glad that she brought up the brutality of pageantry mm -hmm. because oh, I cried so much. I get the comments all the time. People think that I am the most brutal person in pageant world. Me, apparently. No, you're not. <laughs> no. I like hearing you talk. I get. I always get those comments. She's like, "You're gonna hurt the girls' confidence," and I'm like. Oh, have you, you heard I what the girls say to, to the, the girls? girls. Yeah. Yeah. It is awful. <laughs> yeah. Like I, w I, as soon as the Miss Nevada got crowned, I looked at my pageant director. She got her little thing, did her walk. I walk over to my pageant director. I'm on the stage bawling, and she's like, "What? You did so good." I'm like, "You said I was gonna win, and you said this." Oh, and I was see, like, that's why don't I don't do that. That to is me. exactly why I'm so honest, and I will say if a girl's walk is not good or if her dress needs to be changed, because I do, I never want a girl to look me in the face and be like, "You told me, yeah, I was gonna do great. You told me my dress was fine. I asked you, and you gave me the thumbs up." And then she goes and she's ridiculed, or she loses, or she does poorly, and now she's looking at me like you set me up for yeah. failure. Yeah, okay, good job. Like I, I could never imagine letting a girl down like that. I'm like, babe, I would rather tell you your eyelashes are falling off your face. Yes, I'm <laughs> just be honest. Uh, yes, exactly. I'm gonna tell you right now before I send you out and the judges are gonna be like, return to sender. <laughs> send her back. I oh, I heard some judges say some things that I would never utter. And I'm just like, I am not oh the most ruthless person in pageantry. No. You can't handle me though. I, you probably shouldn't be on stage. Mm -hmm. as That's a, true. As a fashion model, I'm sure you have had all of the judgment. We've had so much. Because when you go in, typically for like casting calls or if you're doing any runway shows, they're they're measuring your hips, butt, thighs. You're, they're looking at your look, everything. They criticize you. Absolutely. Yeah. And right in your face in front of everyone. Like, yeah. No mercy. No problem. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, we don't need you. And you're dismissed. Like just. We like get that. tears all the time yeah. from runway stuff. Oh my intense. god. And for me, I, I started pageantry because I saw. I saw it as a challenge for myself, and it's exactly what you're saying, where rejection, I've, I've always had a problem with dealing with rejection, so even in the fashion world, it forces me to just take things and not look at it. Maybe it's for the designer's style, or maybe their aesthetic, they don't want someone like my look and stature in their show. And, and it, I, I, at first I started taking it so personally, like maybe, I mean, I mean I've been told in New York Fashion Week, like you're too bad, or you're too skinny, or you're I'm too sorry, tall. What? <laughs> and um, I literally would go home and try to like make my body like perfect for them to see me and like accepting their show. And it's not like something that I, I, I've dealt with, you know? So to be here, and I saw pageant is like a way of forcing myself to do things that made me uncomfortable. So I wanted to yes. face my fears and like, you know, challenge myself, put myself out there so I can, if it's just one or two young girls, I want to make them feel like accepted. That's like my whole platform is to be accepting and in individuality, it should be celebrated rather than stigmatized. So that's what I, I look at the pageant world and I'm like, everyone is so beautiful in their gowns and, and they have their own aesthetic and their mm -hmm. platform. She's a little hype yeah. woman. I <laughs> oh, I do that too. Sure. Every time I watch pageantry, I'm like, they're all like little dolls. And they're like little collector's items and I got to catch them all like Pokemon. Yeah, like, get those, get it girls. I love it though. As soon as people walk up the stage, Tina, she's like, ah! It's, it, yeah, it's like you have that energy yeah. of just everybody feeling good and yeah. looking good yeah. and all that confidence. And you're like, get it, girls. You're my sisters. Go. Get it. Go, you like kind of forget that there is supposed to be a winner at the right. end because yeah. you can have fun the whole time. Oh, yeah, and then you're definitely. like, oh, we're competing. Right. Yeah. I'm going like, to kill you wait, on stage, absolutely. but I love you. <laughs> yeah. so I'll help you with your dress before you get on stage, but after you're off, off stage. Oh. Hmm. It's on. It's See on. You. I'm going to eyeball you from lot. the stage. Like, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to go get snacks after this. But it's also the princess um, aspect.
aspect of it as well. Like as a young girl, I never really dressed up. And so the, the glitz and the glamour, it's such an awesome like venue for me, like just to try on makeup and put on beautiful gowns and walk around like, I feel such a princess, you know? See, just, I and love it. I think people think like, first of all, adulthood is a lie, yes. okay? <laughs> I don't want to live there. As you can, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> none of us grew out of the princessy things. <laughs> we just got enough money to where we can now participate. Exactly. Yeah. We, can, we can, yeah, we can buy the outfits for ourselves. Yes. And I have a collection of crowns like I did not grow up. We love it. Yeah, yeah definitely love still it. play dress up. And it's interesting that you brought that up because as I've been talking about social issues on my channel, a lot of people, specifically men, they complain that women are no longer feminine. Mm -hmm. We are overpowering, strong, and aggressive. I sound so wrong but <laughs> at the same time, when we are talking about feminine things and like playing pretty princess, they kind of ridicule us for that yeah, too. Yeah. And being that, oh, you guys need to grow up or why are you doing these stupid girly things? And it's like, which, which one do you want? want? Which one? <laughs> do you want us to like be soft, gentle princesses and then you ridicule us for our weakness and our femininity or we're strong women. And we're too strong. And then we're intimidating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is something wrong insecure. with being like a strong, independent woman? And yeah. also a princess? No. Right. Well, like, I can be a strong, independent two. woman and wear a tiara and be the happiest human in the world. That's what I've been trying it's to It's my comments. Now, I will, look, I will play devil's advocate because I know what the comment section is going to look like from the guys from the uh, certain pill community. <laughs> Every time I explain this to them, the, the men always say, if there is a strong, independent woman, no man wants that because then you don't need us. A right. strong, confident man. No, we don't man. need you. We want somebody. That's no, what I want. Thank you. See, I did not tell her to say that no. because you literally yeah. said what yeah. I tell them all the time. Like, we don't need you. We want, want you. you. You are a complimentary, you know, a person partner. in our life. You're not, uh, Definitely. You're not our, and a secure man yeah. will be okay with yes. having yeah. a strong, yes. independent yeah. woman. Yes. And if you're not secure with yourself, like, Trash bank, don't hold you. Okay. <laughs> Go do your thing. Walk. What do Come you back believe when you're ready. is a strong, independent woman in your eyes? Well, for me, I think somebody who's just able to take criticism and just grow from it. Like, for me, I know that from my past couple of pageants, <laughs> I definitely need to improve my walking. I think interview is something I worked really hard on with one of my coaches and I was able to improve on it. It actually helped me figure out what I want to go back to college for. So that's a good start. But um, I know a lot of people I work with, they either hear criticism, they're like, no, you're wrong. Or they're like, are you sure about that? I'm like, yes, that's why I told it to you. <laughs> um, and then just people get mad about it. It's like, well, you hear something and you feel insecure because you hear about it. You got to either be confident about it or change. That's how I think that a strong okay. woman should be. What about you? Strong, you independent be, woman. A strong, independent woman is someone who is not afraid of speaking. Um, not afraid of sharing their opinions despite like if someone agrees with you or don't. It's something that a woman should also know where, where her power lies between masculine and feminine energy because we all have it in us, you know what I mean? So it's a, it's a fine balance between being strong and independent and also modest in a way where you can take, you can allow a man to open the door for you and pull out your chair and, and accept him, allow him to play the role that he is in your life. So I think that's, as for me, a strong independent woman is someone who is able to delegate and, and, and give tasks that are not just for youth and for the male, but for also herself. You know, know how to control herself, know how to project her, her words, know how to be stern when it's necessary and say no, I'm, you're se I'm setting boundaries. And also don't be afraid of the criticism. Like she was saying, it's very, very hard as a woman when you're put against different opinions and how you should be and a lot of the I don't want to go into too much of the politics but like laws that are being made about yourself and your own body it's just it we should have a say in a, in a lot of that and we should also know when when we're being challenged to stand our ground you know so it's yeah. interesting that you brought up even though you're strong and independent which I know a lot of the male commenters on my other videos they always target that they're like if you guys are so strong and independent men don't need to pay things for you we don't need to open doors for you <laughs> we are not you a don't, gentleman don't well, that's fine I can open right. my own doors so how <laughs> how t can you quantify I mean obviously I know how I would but how do you quantify being a strong independent woman but also still wanting the chivalry and masculine masculinity and leadership of men because in, in a lot of other guys' minds, they're like, if you're a strong, independent woman, you don't need us. Right. You can do it yourself, open your own door, pay for your own meal. Mm -hmm. 
I don't ask for it. It's yeah. just you playing the life. Yeah, it's just being loved. Like, we want you guys to just yeah. love us and support us in our own dreams and our own aspirations and want to do these things for us because you love us and you care for us and you want us to feel how we want to be treated and yeah. feel how we want to feel inside. I think that us being able to make our own money and do our own things on our own and come back together at the end of the day and just have a happy relationship is what really matters. So I think you all seem like very capable <clears throat> women. If you needed to, you know, exist on your own, I don't think you would struggle with it. Oh, no. 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 But like, do any of you intend on living all of your life by yourself? No. Oh, no. <laughs> just okay we have one in consideration i mean like i've been by myself for like past couple of year now and i'm doing fine i'm still alive yeah me too yeah, yeah i'm okay. a very i love love <laughs> me too that's me actually too. in one I, of my I, videos I, I love love like i love love like my i will cry when my best friend gets engaged i will be the happiest human i just love love like i love seeing people happy and seeing them thrive like even if they love themselves i love you for that if you are in love with someone i'm so happy for you i love that i love how you're saying that with the little heart earrings but it's like i feel like when men hear the word oh i'm an independent woman they get defensive and they think negatively about it but in reality it's like women are a strong independent woman because they are secure with themselves they love themselves they know where they stand in life they stand their ground when they know that they want something they are okay with going for what they want mm -hmm. so it's like when you want to go to a pageant and you are a strong independent woman you are going to do everything in your power to win yes like everyone here is wanting to win and go for the crown and mm -hmm. do what they got to do to get there and then men will be like oh like you're so like high and mighty you think that you're better and i'm like no yeah i am secure with myself i am secure with my feelings my actions my heart and if you are not secure enough like come back in a couple of years yes. when you grow up <laughs> and you yeah. realize the true meaning of like an independent woman because if you think that you're so much better and you think that you're a strong independent man no. Well, and I feel like that's what makes a good partnership is having yeah. two very strong independent people coming together and wanting to just love each other right. and be there for each other to support each other and each other's dreams, but not needing each other to create, yeah. yeah, to survive and to create that environment. I think when you need other people in your life is when you really need to work on yourself right. more. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I feel that. I've been like single for a little bit. <laughs> and let me tell you, I'm about myself. I'm, like, I'm happy. I can do what I want. I can wake up. Had nobody tell me, texting me. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm free. Can do what I want. This is yeah. great. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's important. Fun. I think it, it's very important that it comes from you, ladies, because I've had these discussions on my channel before. But I reference all the pageant queens as the temple of tens. Mm -hmm. You women are the women that the men proclaim that like are the epitome of what they want in the world. Well, if you want it, stop being stupid. <laughs> I love her. She's it straight up. Like, stop being stop being stubborn. Right. Stop being a little boy. And grow up, mm -hmm. put your big boy on their own confidence right. first. Yeah. They're just, yes. I think they're not confident in themselves, and that's why they're so scared by a confident yeah. woman because right. they're they don't because they're they not don't ready. Also, yeah. I feel like men they have this role where they think they have to do everything for you, and like when you can take care of yourself, they feel like useless. They don't they know don't what have to their, do with they themselves. They don't know their place. It's like, mm -hmm. what do I do? She what has value all, like, do I add to your life? Yeah, and, and I'm just like, I've just had that. Just be there. Just be you. I think they <laughs> don't understand. Just stand there and tell me I'm pretty. That's right? Cool. That's what that's right. Right. Like, like, Just stand there and tell me I'm pretty when I walk through the and, door yeah. and clap for me. Right. Take a picture. Take a picture. And from, just... from the discussions that I've had with guys, I realize that they don't understand why we like them. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Oh, like, trust me. They think that we need them because apparently we can't afford our own food, clothes, right. or hair, you know, yeah. <laughs> what do you going think to we the were salon. Doing before I met you. Like, right? Yeah. <laughs> and what I'm like, going to do after. Thought. They don't realize that we actually enjoy their presence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You simply being yeah. around, mm -hmm. your hugs, uh -huh. your conversation. That's, that's what, what we like. Hold, we're like, not. Just hold my hand. Yeah. Like, hey, like, simple things. They can't fathom that that's. Simply, yeah, that's, that's simply all that enough. women want. Like, women are so complicated, and it's like, actually. And they expect that, like, especially women like you guys, they see you and they're like, they're pageant queens. They're the epitome of beauty. They're on runways. 
you're like the upper echelon of what every man dreams of. They think that you are high maintenance, yeah. you are catty, demanding, mm -hmm. you are shallow, superficial, yes. challenging, aggressive, all of that. I feel like we <laughs> do this amazing. all for ourselves though. Like a lot of us coming into pageants, we are preparing ourselves. Like we're not high yeah. maintenance, we're making it happen Happens. ourselves. We're not making other people do things for us. We're doing it for ourselves. Oh, so you just choose to be pretty. Yeah. It's not about a man? No. So none of you wave, because the guys told me, I was told by some of the fans in the comment section that women are only doing this to advertise yourselves for your future husbands. Are no, you telling me? I already me? have my future husband. I'm like, we're, we're thriving. I'm like, like yeah. we're chilling. I don't If I want my future husband, husband, I'm not going to find him on stage, because when you look out, it's like pitch black. Right? You don't <laughs> even matter. To find you out there? No. You're here to watch the stage. We can't even see your face. It's not about I'm you. I'm just here for the judges. Like, <laughs> all I see is like four people, and I'll call it a day. Don't go in all up in my grill and think I'm doing this for you, yeah? I'm all pretty sparkly. You could take a picture with me yeah. after. <laughs> And then I'll walk away. Yeah. I love but that I'm she's like, like giving hot Audrey Hepburn, but she's yes. just like, but I will get you though. I'm like, okay. don't try me. Don't let like, these heart earrings fool you. Yeah. <laughs> also, I could be here my, for all the women as well. My, yes. my inner Scorpio will really pounce <gasps> on you. Are you a Scorpio? You yeah. Scorpios terrify me. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm what a nice Scorpio, there? I promise. What about Libras? Oh, I love Libras. Oh, They're so romantic. <laughs> Scorpios are scary. We I would like never make her angry. Never make her angry. Her either. either. Okay, I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> she's, a, she's a spicy one. Like I will like she's spicy. I will nibble and she will freaking bite. bite. No, 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 like, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. You stay on her good side. Hey, you see, these are the girls that you call crying. Oh, like, yeah. You won't like, believe what he did. You, oh, trust me. Yeah. That's what I need to call. She will call me and I'll be like, what's happening? Oh really? <laughs> Hmm. Tell me more. Do you know where he so is? He didn't right? bring the flowers. What's his schedule? I'm like, isn't it like National Girlfriend Day? Like, it's seven o'clock sure? in the morning. Where's yeah. your breakfast in bed? That's the thing about Scorpios. Those are the ones you call when you need someone to come pack in combat boots and a sledgehammer. Okay, that's true. <laughs> the, and I will look the good boots, doing not it. The hammer. The boots, not the hammer. I will look good doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you should dig it with a shovel. Good night. That's a good TikTok. You should make that. No. Please oh make that God. TikTok like for me. Like my inner Scorpio digging okay. a hole from she's my best friend. It's like when your best friend calls you crying. Yeah. She's got her little shovel. <laughs> good night. See, I love that. It's like the camaraderie of like when girls get together. That's why I love pageantry so much. It's just like being surrounded by fun, happy, beautiful girls. We take photos together and yeah. we chit chat and we girl talk and we're all just happy. Yeah. I think yeah. people think, you know, behind the scenes, you're all pulling each other's hair out. No, no, not <laughs> I even. I literally was told, okay, so first time coming into pageantry, I told, I was told, oh, the girls are going to cut up your dresses, oh. and they're going to put oils like on the floor, and I'm like, oh my happened. goodness. No, like, those are things that, that have happened. happened. Not in the not United usually. States, though. No, no. You, that, that very much like sounds like in... Venezuela and Colombia. Oh, oh. <laughs> Russia will do it. Really? You think like, so? Oh, they are cut the rope. Wow. Yeah, those, yeah. Those girls wow. are scary over there. <laughs> yeah, well, they're very, very serious, and that's why, like, even when I'm on the channel, the I think I get the most controversy from American girls. Mm -hmm. The foreign girls don't say a word because, as far as they're concerned, they're like, "That's the softest normal speak they've ever yeah. heard." <laughs> Their coaches are actually mean. Yeah, what, like what I would consider mean. Mm -hmm. But American girls, I think, from what I've seen, they're told. You're pretty. You've got this in the bag. You know, this gown is great. You look gorgeous. You're going to do fabulous. And they feel like they don't have to fight. Right? Yeah. Like they just kind of go into pageantry unprepared. And they're just like, it's going to be a nice little weekend with friends. And I'm going <laughs> to win a pretty little crown. And it's going to be great. And then as yeah. soon as you go there, there's going to be a girl that's like, that's what you're wearing. Yeah. That. And I'll be like, yeah, it is. That. <laughs> I'll be like, that is exactly. I know it's cute. That's why I bought it. That is the exact response. And that's how you should respond. But that's how you handle criticism. Yeah. So you are mentally prepared for competition. Mm -hmm. right? Some people go into competition and they don't know what they're getting into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as friendly as you ladies are, I don't think you should compete against them. Yeah. Unprepared, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not knowing you're like whoever wins, we're gonna have a lot of preparation right before we go. Yes. So for future competitors. Um, for people who are like possibly in your position now, because I know you watch the channel and several of you do, uh -huh. they're watching you now. Right. And they're preparing for their pageants. Mm -hmm. so, so, good you know. luck. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. No, you gotta tell them the honest stuff. You're doing great, you sweetie. You gotta tell them the honest shit. Straighten your knees. Yeah. 
Straighten no. your ass. No, please straighten your knees. Because you, I'm please. sure some of you have seen me on the channel and I'm like, you're girl, if you don't fix your knees right now, I oh my god, because I will make baby duck comments. <laughs> you come baby. up here looking like a brand new, freshly born baby deer. Deer, I, yeah. I, I am, well, I am making. Rock. I will make jokes. I love you, but I will make jokes. Yes. I need it. So I laugh so hard when I see those things. <laughs> I'm like, right, and it's not. I'm, no one's laughing at you because you look cute. A lot of the girls, even when they do those little things and they're like kind of trotting along, or the girls they're that so wear cute and pretty. There, yeah. yeah, they like wear wedding. Everybody's gonna know, okay? I know you're gonna scream it in the comments. <laughs> Nevada, when she wore the wedding dress, okay, and she was going down the runway and she was carrying it like it was a Taylor Swift video, running in the rain. She looked adorable. She looked so happy. Which but Nevada the, are we talking about? Oh, it was Nevada, USA. It was. She did make finals, but she was the fan vote. She looked adorable. She looked so happy. Like, she was precious. I'm like, I'm a Nevada supporter. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's, it was confusing for me because, look, she's like, <laughs> oh, I swear, she was adorable and she was cute. And I was just like, but it's not a, this is not the time it's or the place. wedding dress. I'm like, Miss Girl, save the wedding dress for another, like, stage. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was weird for me seeing it come from Nevada because that's like a place where I think it's really good pageant mm -hmm. girls are at. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> like, I'm not saying they're my hole. <laughs> right? I, I was on the chopping block for a second. I was already <laughs> sweating. I said it was hot in this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Have mercy. But yeah, when I see like moments like that, I'm like, no one's laughing at you because you look so cute and precious and lovable. But we have to be honest as pageant fans and even competitors, you don't want a pageant that way. Yeah. And you don't want to go into a pageant unprepared or just signing up to lose. Cause I'm sure you've all made investments oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. to do this. Yes. So what type of pre preparation should these other women be doing before they're in your position? I would say just do your homework, like yeah. watch videos, watch pageants, watch the pageants from the system you're competing for and just do your research and figure out what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, and yeah, I think just practice, practice, practice. Practice oh, makes perfect. Hit, it. hit the gym. Now I would say save money first because yeah. there's a lot of money. You gotta pay that entry fee. Some pageant make you pay for a yearbook. Some pageant make you oh, pay you know for that. like the hotel or and stuff like that. So you like, do want to get at yeah. least two or three grands before you start doing a pageant. And that's just for the entry. Now I'm talking about getting coaching. You want to save another two or three grand on top of that, okay? <laughs> like, yeah. And once you get six grand, that's when you probably should start doing the pageant, okay? You don't got six grand. Um, or get wait. sponsors. Get, get sponsors. Get sponsors. Get sponsors. Get sponsors. <laughs> but get six grand to be safe. Um, Put six grand in yeah. the bag. How would that go for coaching? Okay, the other half, whatever you gotta pay for. It. Wow. <laughs> and all you foreign people, pick your friends up off the ground, because I know. I don't know if you guys know this, but in other countries, there is no entry fee yeah. for yeah. their pageants. Yeah, like, so anyone can do it. When I found that out, I was like, pageants what? Pageants here expensive. Yeah. Very. Yeah. So how do we like, how do we prop up United States pageantry? Because we need more of you ladies, right? Mm -hmm. I like, I love you ladies. I thrive off of you girls. I want to keep it going. How do we make pageantry more popular? What do we do? We I appeal to those countries that likes pageantry. Yes. We're like, hey, this USA coming in, yes. sponsor us or something. Yes, yes. That works. Yes. Sponsor us. That, that, exactly. That works. And I love you. You guys are great. This is the perfect <laughs> group of girls to have <laughs> together. <laughs> It was so entertaining. I feel like I feed off of the, everyone's energy too. It's yes. Just, it's so raw and it's natural, you know what I mean? Infectious. Yes. <laughs> you guys are very infectious. So after this pageant, right, we're going to have one winner. Yeah. So what what's the plans after this? I Let's... still want to, I still want to be friends with everyone. I love 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 love. This whole week has been such a. I'm the oldest daughter, so I I don't have a lot of a sister right next to me. So to be able to have my sisters, I call them like, hey, what dress are you wearing? What are you wearing today? And like we took pictures and stuff. Like it's so beautiful. I think after this, it's just like hanging out, going to visit you in your hometown and you in New York and just. Oh no no, I'll come and visit to... you. You don't gotta come to me. <laughs> <laughs> she like, loves stay, it stay, here. Stay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my no, goodness. Yeah, so I think afterward, it's just mending those friendships that are, yeah. you know, that we made here, I, especially for me. Like, my first time, everyone was so accepting and so nice and, like, giving me the, the kind of a format for what to do and where to go. How did you uh, make your way in here? 
So I'm Vietnamese and my mom loved watching pageants because you know Vietnam we're really into pageant as yeah. well. And it was just at the time my mom's like, well, you probably shouldn't do pageant yet because you got nothing on me about. <laughs> So I was like, okay, let me go do the Air Force, figure out what I want to do with my life. And then when I was in Germany, that's was like, you know what, it's time to do a pageant. But I couldn't because I was in Germany. And so I waited to get back to the U.S., which I got to station in Louisiana. And I did Miss Louisiana USA literally a month after being in Louisiana. And I was like, oh, I need to get a coach. I need to do this. I didn't know. Well, I'm at the pageant. So my first pageant was like, yeah, complete mess. Like I didn't have anything. But... Throughout the time, I got coaching, I know what to do, I listen to feedback of others, and I just feel confident about myself. I think like no matter if I win or not, or what happened, they were in place. <laughs> I made really good memories, and I enjoy talking to all of the girls, and I think that that's something that I love about pageant so much, that's why I still do it. Yes. See, I just like, I get like the benefit of not having to have any of your stress, but I still get to be here. <laughs> no, you stress when you watch. I, I see you like, <laughs> when you're watching, you're like holding your bunny. Like, Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? She's, I'm, she's, I'm doing the same thing. I'm like, <laughs> she's so not wrong at all. I'm like, who is it? I had the same scream as you for Miss Universe. Don't you worry. Oh my god! Yeah. I jumped out of my bed. I try so hard not to hurt my microphones, and I do it all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for the peaks, guys. I just, I do try. No, I heard it coming. I was, I was prepared. I turned down my volume. I was like, I know she must scream. <laughs> I scream too. Because I, oh, yeah, I got dragged, everybody's like, you're being biased towards USA, even though every time, uh -huh. I put, every single time I predicted the United States as a winner, yeah. they won. They won. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was very, trash. very apparent. I'm just saying. This year. I'm like, and you I'm, could tell. Like, it was like. Across organizations, I've done it for Miss Earth, I've done it for Miss Grand, mm -hmm. and I've done it for Miss USA. Every time I predict USA the winner, they win. Yeah. Stop dragging me. Oh, yeah. I keep getting dragged no. by fans. Because you know. You know. Like, you're like, they don't want to listen to me. <laughs> Listen. Oh my goodness. Listen to her. She knows what she's talking about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> right? I'm gonna just start calling her. You're gonna be like my enforcer. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> you're, like, Do I yeah. get my shovel? You're gonna be my enforcer. <laughs> she's the, the court enforcer right there. She's gonna do it with a smile. Wee -wee -wee. Dig your grave with a smile. Wee -wee 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 -wee. <laughs> so, finals is tomorrow. Sunday. 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 Wait, we have Saturday Three off? We have well, I don't know. Tomorrow we have rehearsals again. And then. Sunday. Oh, my days Friday. are off. Today's Friday. Yes. Correct. Yes. It's Friday. Friday. Thank God. Yeah, it's I'm Friday. Friday. If my I'm mom sees right. this video, she's going to be so happy I just said that. Friday. It's Friday. It's for mom. It's an inside joke. Well, mom gets it. Mom, you know. You guys have already done preliminaries. Yes. Yes. Is there anything that you are going to be doing differently or better in finals? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, tell yeah. me. I I'm not judging, <laughs> so I'm like, it's not my thing. I don't care. I think for I'm me, just with the swimwear is... I gave runway. I wanted to give different aspect of myself. The sunglasses and a different style. I've never seen sunglasses in a pageant from all the pageants that I watch. I'm like, no one really wears glasses or a hat or, you know, a little bag or something. So I think differently, I'm going to maybe give a different aspect of like myself, fun and, and energetic with the swimwear portion and maybe switch up the evening gown because I like the solid colors because um, I was watching one of your videos, you're like, we need to get rid of all these um, nude, nude, white, silver, beige, sorry. colorless, like, personalityless gowns. <laughs> it needs to die. And I was like, oh girl, I got the perfect blue gown for you. So, yes. I was going to say, who wants gown. to blend in with the back wall? You're asking too loose. Yeah. <laughs> do you or do you not want to stand out? Like, you want the crown or not? Where are we dressing? Yes. Like, we're some sort of, like, I don't know, Christmas ornament. For finals, <laughs> I'm hoping that my gown that I had ordered for this pageant will make it here in time. What? It's not here? <laughs> Still not here, We're so my it. sponsor, Stress me. Lola's New Jersey, was a lifesaver this week with sending me a gown to wear for preliminaries, and I'll, we'll see if I have to wear it for finals as well or if I'll be able to change my gown because the gown I got and had custom made to my body, I really would like to wear because it's a really nice color and I'll I feel look really sassy in it. So just pray for me, guys, please. Oh as soon my as you gosh. told me, I was like, oh, right. I hope it gets here. I just hope. I'm freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you feel I've better. I've been trying not to freak out. I'm just like, 
Well, the red outfit I wore yesterday, UPS lost for like two hours, oh, and I had the yeah. whole building scouring the, that my, face. Uh, my, right there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna lost. stab you face. I had that. I was like, mine's been lost for a week and a half. I had to call UPS, and you know, did is you it UPS? Did Did you try to call UPS? And did you? Call I went it? to the to the place to the plant. <laughs> I had the whole building chasing I, my outfit. I love that. I wish I could. I wish I. Could I was threatening yet. hellfire. I said <laughs> I'll bring my entire YouTube setup and do a video on this if you don't find my it's outfit. Been in Philadelphia for a week and a half. Wow. It's been gone for a week and a half. A week and a half. I've okay, been sitting in Philadelphia. UPS, you lost my outfit, and now you've got her lost dress. Lost my gown. Oh, Two strikes, man. Me. Find that gown, or you're getting a We're video. We're not using you anymore. <laughs> I, I do have video Boy footage pop. that I filmed of me in UPS what? demanding oh my, my package. So, I'm at UPS in Fairfield, California, or is it supposed to be Cordelia? I don't know. Either way, I was on the phone last night, not exactly happy because I have. I have an outfit that I have been expecting. I paid extra for two days shipping and it did not get delivered at my house, though I was at my house all day yesterday. So I said I'd pick it up. And I got on the phone call to ask what the times were where I could come and pick up my package. And I made sure that I was here on time and I do have the recording of that phone call because I anticipated some problems. I don't know why, but I did. So I'm here at eight o'clock 802 as of this moment and there's no one here and i'm anticipating problems so let's see they're currently running through every package in the building to try to locate this thing it's the way i knew ups was gonna fuck up i knew it so like you're setting yourselves up it's okay mm -hmm. lost my package day too Oh, it's just delivered, but it's not on my porch, though. My, my package after. or something? <laughs> I ordered, like, a sarong for the bikini portion the other day. And then right when I went to hang out with them, all of a sudden I get a message, your package has arrived. Mm -hmm. I'm like, like <laughs> this timing is just not working out. <laughs> UPS is messing the I'm like, wait, out. I was supposed to get this, like, yeah. hours ago. <laughs> I'm like, but thank you. I guess I'll just use it for finals. So you, I right? Are you cooking up something different or special for finals? Oh, I am bringing the heat. I like heat. I'm bringing, like, I've been practicing since seven o'clock this morning oh. with my new dress and practicing with everything. My oh. new shoes. Always practice in your gown. That's another tip that I've said on the channel. Yes. Practice in the gown. So you're gonna put on this long gown that you can't walk in. You're gonna trip over the train and throw it awkwardly. Then I'm gonna have words. <laughs> she said, Come I'm on. gonna have words, right? I, I never say like, oh, you're ugly and you're terrible, but you know. What if but you, you don't know the dress you is pretty. Yeah, the dress is pretty. You're I always say it nicely, like you know, you look like you're dancing in your mama's kitchen in her bed curtains or something. <laughs> we gotta practice in the gown. Her. Because we all did it as little girls. Oh yeah, yeah. We put on mom's clothes I and tried to do my mom's big shoes. I did the whole wear my mom's wedding dress when I was a kid, and, like sprinted around and fell. Right? And she was like, "You're my doing choice. it wrong." I'm See? Like, Thanks, mom. You're gonna be like the new example next time a girl comes out with a wedding gown. Mm -hmm. Please don't. Don't, do, do, don't do that to me, cause like, <laughs> don't do that to me, please. I feel like I'm gonna be pranked one day at a pageant, and all the girls are gonna come out in white. Wedding. I'm gonna. Have uh, <laughs> no. They're gonna be like, so, no. maybe we need to. Make, maybe we need to make this happen. No, this I can't. Weekend. My spirit can't take it. I, I, I probably like instantaneously cry. <laughs> I don't think I can handle it. It is that serious. Jeez. Oh, and I didn't get to tell you, you said you had not heard of um, anybody wearing hats or sunglasses or whatnot. For a typical pageant during swimwear, they wouldn't, but Miss Earth actually has hotel wear. And they do hats and sunglasses and bags and stuff. Like so I actually, wear yeah, they do thing. resort yeah, wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I actually have done it. But the fact, you know how to use accessories, so. Yeah. I don't really yeah. see how you're gonna spice up finals, but if you find a way, then I'm just, okay. She has a bad, Cause she, I did my good bad walk. I know, you saw her do the utmost, so I was just like, you got more? <laughs> she's got me, she's got there's, me. There's, she's she's just loading right now. <laughs> that was I'm glad I'm not wait. judging finals, just because wait. everybody else was talking about me making minuscule sounds when you guys were doing so good. <laughs> so I was like. <laughs> I love it. At least you know my reactions are real. <laughs> real time. <laughs> She should have seen me that? during the guys. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> it was, mm. 
Mm. We're gonna we're anyway. making good or bad noises. Oh, the, the guys did way better than I expected them oh, to. Oh, good. I thought that they were gonna be like straight face, Rubbing the runway hands. walk, girl. <laughs> I thought that they were about to eat that so much. I really thought they were gonna do that, but they actually did a lot better than I expected. So, good, good, job, guys. good job, guys. I don't know if you can keep up with the ladies. We'll see. No. It's a friendly kind of thing. No. 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 She, she dug your graves before she came. You guys were going down. They're in the parking lot. Well, I don't wanna keep you ladies. It's time for your practice, I think, once again. No? Well, I'm not gonna keep them here the whole time because we can have girl talk you, all day. Oh, we should do TikToks. Who wants to go dig a hole? <laughs> we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go find some TikToks to do. But I do want to say thank you, ladies, for sitting down and tolerating me and dishing the tea and thank you. giving us some Thanks. insight. Tea was brewed. Right. It was. It was hot. We've got experienced pageant queens. We've got veteran fashion models. Girl, I love your twangy little accent. <laughs> Thank you. I, I just, now that I'm sitting like directly next to you, I can hear it and I'm like. Well, I don't know, I, I mean, I had an accent, but what is it? It is, <laughs> I didn't realize that you had that much of an accent until I like sitting here having a conversation. I'm like, she has an accent. Yeah, we meet with my first language and then grew up in Minnesota, lived in Germany for like two years, now in Louisiana, so. Louisiana. <laughs> I love it. It makes me so happy. So Just wait cool. till she does her intro and finals. I'm, I'm gonna be in the back like, yes, queen. <laughs> come on, give it to me. I'm like, don't you stop us here. I'm so happy I'm not at the table because <laughs> I can finally make all my faces like. <laughs> I love it. It's so perfect. thank you, ladies, for joining me. And thank you. thanks, for thanks everybody us. in the comment section for being here. Go stalk them on their social medias. I was already there. Just gonna oh, be honest about that. Same. Oh. Uh, yeah, I just, I did do that. I actually did an, an hour long video reading all of your bios um, and stalking your Instagrams on oh, camera. So, can't wait. <laughs> I totally did that. I can't um, wait to see But I didn't get to like, I wanted to release it before I got here, but then I ended up talking for so long through everybody's bio and I'm like, these are gonna be hour long videos. <laughs> but maybe I'll still release them. Whatever, we'll see. In the meantime, we will see you guys later. Wish the ladies luck and go say hey. Bye. Bye. Bye.